Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shala Malawson. Coming up on today's bulletin, Harare residents are angry after UNICEF stops supplying the city with water. Chitungweza omnibus drivers refuse to service a route after allegations of police harassment. Sungura music artist Alec Macheso thrills fans at the Glamis Arena. Zimbabweans show off their skills at a karate tournament. And we have a special look ahead to this week's English Premier League matches. The pull-out by UNICEF from supplying water in Harare has sparked an outcry among residents who are now feeling the pinch of the water crisis in the city. Our reporter Fungwa Muswewoshiri spoke to some of the affected residents. Harare residents have bemoaned the withdrawal of water supply and treatment assistance program by UNICEF, saying it is likely to expose them to public health risks. The city council is failing to supply its residents with water and prior to the UNICEF pullout, residents received water in bowels, wells and bowls drilled by the UN agency. ATV spoke to residents who are concerned about the UNICEF pullout. Most of the bowls are no longer functional owing to lack of maintenance and this has forced residents to fetch water from unprotected sources. UNICEF has been supplying water to Harare residents since 2009 after a cholera outbreak claimed the lives of 4,000 people. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Commuter omnibus drivers who cover the Harare Chutungwiza route say they will soon stop servicing this route due to allegations of continued police harassment. Jeffrey Moyo reports. Chitungwiza combi drivers have threatened to pull out their combis from the route to this exploring town about 35 kilometers south of Harare in protest against continued police harassment. ATV caught up with some frustrated combi drivers at charge office commuter rank. Pachitungwiza from Nalibo Ndiyekuti, yo ye mabrisi ya tuta wanayo. Doza ka tukwa nisa utite kiyo zi utite noise. Marquatsine said the pressure to hide face was coming from the police who are demanding bribes at roadblocks, something which is into their earnings. But the rest, one of these all problems could stack up. As we dream, cause our face, any moment we dream, we dream them But this all the eight months, we know how we are going to come out strong. But this is what we are going to do. We are going to do what we are going to do. We are going to do what Combi drivers and commuters also alleged that combis owned by some police officers were not being stopped at roadblocks. Police 
zvichitakura vanhu inzi ndokuti dzinge dzakamirawo saka idambudzikuru ndo rakazokonzera kuti dzimwe motikari dzinge dzidzi pa road vamwe vakuzopota vachitengesa vamwe vanenge vachifamba road kuti kwavanani vakapaka motikari kuti tichisungane sevamwe tichisungo chimwe chete kuti timwe chibudisa chimwe chinhu chimwe chete hataizo kwanisa kuti tivere izvo nokuti vamwe vanhu vanenge vakufamba vachitakura vanhu police ngaive mu road hainga nzi ngaive hayo yesa si mu road mukaitawo police nenge yakamirawo iri hani kwete kuti apo ne apo ne apo ne apo vana vachina mashandiro ndino rwazi wa zvikuru nezvikuitwa nema police apa road apa Varuti, varuti ora wanu ma gombi mari, ni yeye uo re wa wa nini wajida kui tayo. Sasa sisi zungu wajida sisi kana uti ni jida kui amtawa numuno mukuti ni tema dirango. Asi ni kula kui sio soma jibu ba ma komba asi kwa nsa kupi ni amtawa. Sisi zungu wa kwa jibu varuti tungu zao ndo kuna kuto uti police chasu kapa police. Ndopa ndopa tuno burusi kwa ipa posonzi tisa ra ipa police ipa ba ba. Atisa kugui nda. Pane ba jineta transport ipa police ipa ba. But traffic police spokesperson Tigeret Gome dismissed the allegations saying Kumbi drivers were stubborn and were being fined for violating traffic regulations. He said the police will not rest until the Kumbi drivers observe traffic rules. Reporting for ATV Arare Zimbabwe. Popular Zimbabwe Sangura music artist Alec Macheso thrilled fans at the Harare show with a stunning performance at the Glamis Arena. Muchaneta Chimuka was there for ATV. <laughs> Muimbi wa msambu wa sungura Alec Macheso ni chikuwa tachake Vakafa zavano nenzi mbo uye kutamba kwa woku wa harare show mungu wa fupi ya fura Aruge zakufa zavano nepeze pano gona na apu So kutika na pari pa gala Vana wafunge kumba kana chusha itika kumba Vani nguwa pinda mungi yari mafaro Vajinji wakatenda muimbi uye pa zhudavado shake Macheso Haa ya na chusha ikana mwana wana kami wapana Shoe gorerinu ya kafadza vanu jikuru Apo vaka wana mkana yoku wana maimbi vaka siya na wachiriza Shirimwa muka uye makambane vaka siya na achirati zira jikaziru wa shavu Macheso muimbi ane mkurumbira mzimbabwe Uye anodiwa ni vanu vaka wanda Vanu farira msambwe sungura Nukuda kwa unyanji wake Macheso aka wina mikombi ya shemi manzi ya kawanda Makure afura Dini mtorwe na we ATV ndiri muarare zimbabwe a Japanese organized karate tournament held in Harare provided a useful platform for Zimbabweans to showcase their talent in martial arts. Robert Tafumane saw the action. The 2012 Japanese Ambassador's Karate Cup tournament, which was held over the weekend at the City Sports Center, thrilled crowds with karatekas displaying their martial arts skills and progress in various categories. The tournament was held under the auspices of the Kyoko Shin Union of Zimbabwe and ATV caught up with the president of the Karate Union of Zimbabwe. We as the Zimbabwe Karate Union in conjunction with the Japanese Embassy, we are hosting the 2012 edition of the Japanese Ambassador Karate Championships. This is a competition which has brought together our two main styles of karate. The WKF affiliated, which is the World Karate Federation affiliated karate, and uh, the full contact Kyokushin karate. He is optimistic about the direction in which the sport is developing in the country. The level of competition has been exceptional. Um, as you may know, Zimbabwean karate is on the increase in terms of uh, participation, in terms of quality. So what we are witnessing here today is just that. Uh, an increase in the level and in the quality of, of, of karate, looking at the years that have gone by and looking at where we are today. However, Rugwere said they need more support from the corporate sector to help them solve some of the problems they were facing. Sponsorship is a very difficult uh, thing to get in Zimbabwe. We, what sponsors look for is ultimate uh, exposure for their brands, for their organizations. And uh, you will find that most of these corporate world uh, partners are looking for sports that are already uh, have a certain level of exposure. 
Now, for us to try and build that exposure without the resources, it becomes very difficult. There were 40 junior categories ranging from 21 to 55 kgs and winners went home with floating trophies and medals. Winners include Tafatu Motoringi under 30, Shoton Mugoni under 35, Michael Denere under 40 and Tinashe Mushingo under 55. There were also prizes for the most spirited fighter, Treasure Mutanda, and most technical fighter was Tendai Sawopa. The Zimbabwe Karate Union team won 12 medals at the Pelopane Championships, which were held in South Africa recently. The karate tournament was graced by the Japanese ambassador to Zimbabwe, Yonezo Fokudam. Reporting for ATV, Robert Avmane Arare, Zimbabwe. After the international football break, the English Premier League returns tomorrow with a host of exciting matches. Joining me in the studio is ATV's football specialist, Liam Thorpe, to tell us what we can look forward to. Yes, thank you, Shalimar. Well, as you say, the international break is over and the English Premier League is back with a full programme of matches. Let's begin with the league champions. Manchester City and their team of superstars travel to the Britannia Stadium to face a tough Stoke City side. Stoke are very strong at home and I think Roberto Mancini's team will be happy to leave with a draw from this one. Although star striker Sergio Aguero could return and could well be the difference. City's nearest rivals Manchester United have an easier task with a home match against Wigan. New signing Robin Van Persie may be injured but still I can't see any other result than a comfortable win for the Red Devils. Arsenal will also be confident of a victory at home to Southampton, although the Premier League newcomers have scored twice against both Manchester sides and look lively up front, I'm still going to have to go for a win for the Gunners. New boss Brendan Rodgers takes his Liverpool side to Sunderland in search of their first win in the league, but I think they really could struggle against Martin O'Neill's side, which is full of exciting new signings. Now, every Friday I'm going to have a Premier League match of the week. And this week, it's QPR versus Chelsea. This was easily the most controversial match of last season and saw Chelsea captain John Terry accused of racism against QPR defender Anton Ferdinand. There's bound to be a really tense atmosphere and I think both sides will be desperate to win. I do, however, think the European champions will have too much and Eden Hazard is likely to score. All in all, it should be a great weekend of Premier League action. Thank you for joining us. Good night.